Operations with power series are fairly straightforward. Suppose I have two uh, power series, f of x and g of x as defined. If I multiply k and x, then what happens to that power series? Well, everywhere I have an x here, I'm going to put a kx. And so you're going to get this k to the n, x to the n, times a sub n times x to the n. Similarly, if I take, um, if I look at the power series f x to the big n, then now this big n is a fixed number. It's 2, 3, 12, 167. It doesn't matter what. Then everywhere I have an x here, I'm going to plug in x to the n. And so you're going to wind up these um, exponents multiply, or multiplied by each other. And of course, if you add two power series, then you can add the coefficients. So let's look at a case where we're going to do this. We want to find the power series for f of x is 3x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1. Now this isn't in any kind of nice form, so let me rewrite this as 3x minus 1 divided by, and I'm just going to factor the denominator. Let's see if that helps me out. And the answer is, hmm, not really, but it really does, because what this tells me is I need to use partial fractions. a over x minus 1 plus b divided by x plus 1. Get a common denominator. So this is ax plus a plus bx minus b divided by x minus 1, x plus 1. So that tells me I need to equate my numerators. So my x to the first terms, I've got a 3 on the left side, is equal to a plus b the x to the 0 power. So I have negative 1 is a minus b. Oh, now what am I going to do here? Let me just add these two. So I have 2 is equal to 2a, or a is 1. And that tells me, it doesn't matter which one of these I plug back in, 3 is equal to 1 plus b. So that tells me b is 2. So that tells me this power series can be rewritten as 1 divided by 1 minus x plus, well it's not power series, is it 2 divided by x plus 1. So I can do two power series expansions and then add them together. Let me start by looking at, um, let's look at the second one, 2 divided by x plus 1. Now remember I'm trying to get into the form a divided by 1 minus r. So um, let me rewrite this as 2 divided by 1 plus x, but I need that to be a minus, so this is 2 divided by 1 minus minus x. So this is going to be the sum as in lost one, goes from 0 to infinity of a r to the n, which is, um, let me identify these, a is 2 and r is negative x. So this is going to be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of 2 negative x to the n. Now, I want to rewrite this as a sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of 2 times negative 1 to the n, x to the n, and indeed this is centered at 0. Next, let me go to my second fraction, which is 1 divided by x minus 1. Now, remember, I want to put this in the form a divided by 1 minus r, so I'm going to put this as 1 divide it by. Now, I need a positive 1 in the numerator. So what if I factor a negative out of this? I can write this as 1 minus x. So as soon as I do this, I see that a is negative 1 and r is x. So I can write 1 divided by x minus 1 is the sum 
as n goes from 0 to infinity of a r to the n. So this is going to be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of what? Negative 1 times x to the n. All right, so what does that tell me? I've got these two power series, and I'm simply going to add them. So 3x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 1 is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of, let's see, 2 times negative 1 to the n, x to the n, plus negative 1 times x to the n. Let me factor the x to the n out. This will be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. I'm going to factor that out of 2 times negative 1 to the n minus 1, all times x to the n. And of course it converges for the absolute value of x less than 1. And the interval converges to negative 1 to 1.